Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chess. Thank you for clicking on today's video. If you like home decor styling videos and a little bit of fashion, lifestyle vlogging and a little bit of bunny content as well because I do have two cute little bunnies, then I would love if you could subscribe to my channel for more videos as I post every single Sunday at 9am. By the way, speaking of bunnies, lots of you will know that, well, we used to have two little girl bunnies and if you are followers of my Instagram, you will now know that we found out that Blossom is not a Blossom. It's a little boy. <laughs> like four months, obviously I've just thought that he was a girl and I gave him like pink everything. Not like that matters because boys can like pink as well. Colours are not just suited to girls and boys, are they? But anyway, like I just thought it was a little girl. I was like, oh, my little baby girl, like. <laughs> And then Jake was just stroking him one day and he was like, it just feels a bit different to Bonnie. So we lifted him up and checked and it was clear that he is in fact a little boy. And we've been to the vet this week and she confirmed that he is in fact a little boy too. So we've changed his name from Blossom to Piglet. <laughs> and I honestly just think Piglet is such a cute name and we've called him Piglet because he honks, like he oinks like a pig, much more, like much louder than Bonnie does. Like Bonnie does like a little soft honk, like what most rabbits do I think, but Piglet like actually honks like a pig. I've got a video of him like oinking um, I'll insert it now so you can hear like how loud it is. So yeah, that's why we've called him Piglet and I thought that would just update you all on the bunny situation. There always seems to be something going on with the bunnies, isn't there? Anyway, in today's video, I am going shopping. I need to get a few bits. I need to go to the range because I want to get some frames, like some antique vintage frames for my new prints from Trove Prints. That's actually going to go there in this little space here, I need to get like a big frame for there. And I also want to go, ooh, we're losing focus, there we go. I also want to go to B&M because I've seen that they now have their Easter range out and I just can't help myself when it comes to seasonal styling. So we're gonna head there and yeah, just have a cute little shopping day vlog. I'll show you any bits that I pick up. We all love a shopping video, don't we? So yeah, I thought I'd bring you all along with me today. I also thought, whilst this is in the doorway, that I would show you our new door. I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my other vlogs that we're actually getting a new door. Not for there, by the way. It's actually for this door here to go into the bunny room. Excuse me, I'm trying to hide the mess. And that, that is to prop the door open because it's a fire door. Just ignore that piece of wood. But yeah, the door, this new door is going to go on that door. It's gonna replace that door leading into the bunny room. And I just think it's so pretty. It's gonna really make the hall so much prettier. I love the little scallop like detail window. It's a different color than our door. So I think Jake's gonna paint it and we're gonna like add the handle and stuff. It's from Door Supplies Online, which honestly have been so great to work with. Like they've been really helpful in like my measurements and like what sort of door I need and like what type of door would be best and stuff. And they've literally got so many different styles of doors for every like design of like for every style of house, like modern country doors, you've got modern doors, like any door that you want, they'll have on this website. So I will leave this exact door links down below and also their website and Instagram and stuff so you can have a look in case you're wanting to get any new doors for your home but I think it's so pretty I love this little panel at the bottom I love the windows so yeah when that is on I will give you another little update and then just before I go out I did just want to show you this package that has arrived from Meggie and me and I think I know what's inside and I'm really excited to see it in real life I think it's going to be gorgeous so let me prop you up somewhere I'm still on the stairs by the way this just seems to be my filming place at the minute let me prop you up and show you what is inside filming on the stairs because honestly every room is a tip don't believe what you see on Instagram guys because my house right now is a tip and I'm just leaving it all to go out shopping that's just literally what my weekends consisted of it actually comes that's the inner that is such a good poofy inner I, I'm really fussy with my cushion in as like I hate it when you squish it and then it just goes like you know when it's like foam <laughs> it was a really bad description but this it feels like a feather in a much like poofier and like firm I love that and let me show you the cushion cover I love how it comes wrapped separately oh my goodness look at that <gasps> 
this is stunning let me give you a close-up we're all thinking it aren't we william morris vibes i mean i've got the william morris book here look at that oh my goodness i'm gonna have to style them together i love this so much so on the back it's a beautiful like linen like neutral color got the little label there nice and subtle but the design on the front that is just stunning isn't it the colors in it are absolutely gorgeous you've got neutral gray you've got a little bit of green as well i just love this like floral print it's like vintage florals i love it this is definitely going in my living room let me pop the inner in now to show you oh my goodness look how pretty it is this is so my vibe you can see how nice it goes with like grays and whites and neutrals this is like my new favorite cushion ever i love it so thank you so much to Maggie and me for sending over this stunning cushion. I literally can't stop looking at it. This is going to be one of those cushions that I literally move around all the rooms of the house. I think it's going to stay in my living room because it really does match the colours that I've got in there. But it looks so nice like on its own and like a bench, like as the central cushion on a bed. It's just got so many different uses. I love it. And I will leave all the details for Maggie and me in the description box below. She has so many beautiful cushions on her website and she's a small business. So it's always good to support small businesses. So I'll leave everything linked down below and it would be great if you could check them out. So it's a good job I checked actually, I just went into the spare room which is where I keep like all my decor pieces that I don't currently have out and I realised that I do have these frames from the range and I wanted this style anyway but I've already got them but I do want a bigger one for like the big A3 one but how gorgeous do these A4 ones look? I love this like cream mount, I love the vintage like wood frame and this print from Trove Print with the laundry hung up and this little I don't know what that is it's like a little bench or something this is stunning I can't wait to get this styled up in the laundry room like not with the bunny section but like where the laundry bits are like where my you know amber glass bottles are and stuff this looks stunning so I'm on the hunt for a bigger version of this at the range today guys I'm back home now and I thought I would show you what I picked up I didn't pick up loads I was quite good I restrained myself quite a bit but I did get a few little like bits and pieces here and there so let me show you I'll start with the range because I only got one thing from the range there was like loads of cute things at the range and loads of gorgeous faux flowers and stems and everything but I, I have tons like I, I really didn't need any more so I just got what I actually went for which was the A3 frame which is this one it's absolutely huge and it matches the smaller like a4 ones that i showed you before it doesn't specifically say a3 but i'm hoping that the print like looks fine in it what i'm gonna do after i've done this haul i'm gonna pop it in and pop it on the wall and show you guys but yeah they're just really pretty i love the frame i love the mount and i think the print will look really gorgeous in there this was 12 99 as well, which I didn't think was too bad for a frame of this size and it looks really pretty as well, like it doesn't look cheap or anything, so I was happy to pay 12 99 Then I went to B&M and I picked up two more throws. I know I just picked up a throw last time I went to B&M, but this is for a different space. This is for Piglet's room upstairs. We don't have them together yet. Soon, in a couple of months I think, we'll have them together, but 
For now, Piglet is upstairs and in the spare room is not, not ideal, but there we go. So I got two more fluffy blankets for Piglet to like pop on the carpet so that my dad's ringing, so that he doesn't dig up the carpet. Hello. That was my dad. I rang him earlier and asked, well, I rang him earlier and he didn't answer and then he just rang me back then because I need him to change the door over because I'm not sure Jake knows what he's doing to be honest. So ask Super Dad and he says he's coming over tomorrow to change the door. So maybe I'll include it in this vlog. Maybe not. We'll see. Then I spotted these green waffle tea towels. I love the colours, like a sage green colour. And it was three for £3.50, which I thought was a really good price. And I just needed some new tea towels, not for show or anything to actually use this time. So yeah, I thought they were quite cute and I don't mind them getting dirty, like, because they weren't too expensive. Then I got some toothpaste, very boring, but I do always get a lot of questions about my teeth. I did used to whiten them a few years ago. I don't think I've, I've whitened them this year, actually. When I was about 16, 15, 16, I used the Crest 3D teeth whitening strips before my brother's wedding and I used them, I was a bit, I was quite bad really. You're only meant to use them for like half an hour every so often but I use them for like two hours every night and <laughs> after like a week my teeth were like gleaming, it literally looked like fake teeth but they were literally gleaming, like they did really work. They made my teeth quite sensitive but I just, I didn't care, like beauty was pain. And then since then they kind of just stayed white and I've done like the odd one here and there but like I'm 25 now so that was like nearly 10 years ago they've still stayed quite white like I've not had them professionally done or anything I do use the high smile teeth whitening strips now and again which are quite good I have used the crest 3d ones since as well the high smile ones don't hurt but the crest ones do hurt and I do I do have quite sensitive teeth so I have to get like good toothpaste so I always get the oral b one I like the glamorous white one but this is the vitalizing fresh one but I do like the glamorous white one best but yeah all I do now is just use an electric toothbrush and oral B and they do stay pretty white and then I did get a few little Easter bits from B&M as well so I picked up these chicks a pack of 24 for £2.50 and I've got these for the prize box at school for like Easter time like if they get like so many points I let them go in the prize box it's all very fun and exciting so I thought that these would be quite a cute Easter edition for the prize box at school and then how cute are these plates I don't think I'll use them like for us I think I'm literally just gonna pop like rabbit food on there or like rabbit treats or like hay and take pictures of them that is literally the only reason why i've bought those plates is that really bad just to take pictures of the bunnies and then the last thing that i got was one of these little baskets i saw these last year and i didn't get one and i always regretted it so i got one this year they do them in pink and green and i was tempted to get a pink one for bonnie and like a sage green one for piglet but they were seven pound each which is a little bit expensive for b m and i didn't want to pay 14 pound on just two bunny baskets so i just got one and i can pop their easter like goodies in like both of their Easter goodies in here. And then I'm also thinking of popping Piglet in here and taking a picture of him because I just think that'll be so cute. So yeah, really cute little baskets from B&M. So that was everything that I got from B&M and the range. Not a huge haul this week, but still some cute little bits. And now I'm gonna go and pop that new print in the new frame. I also got this as well, which I forgot to show in the haul. So I've heard some really good things about these candles. Say it's new, I don't know if it's just like a new formula or I'm just not sure. It's Willow and Bay and it's a wooden wick as well and it's in the scent Honey and Amber and it smells really, really nice and it's huge as well. Let me just undo the lid. There we go, the lid is pretty too. So yeah, got that too and I love a wooden wick. I just love how it sounds and I love a big candle as well so I'll be lighting that tonight. Okay, so let's get this unwrapped. So I finally got it in. Honestly, I cannot tell you how much I hate these little like things. They they hurt my fingers so much. I hate putting frames in, but it's in and how gorgeous does it look? Can't wait to get it on the wall on the stairs. It looks so pretty. I feel like the frame really matches the print the colors in it just go together really nicely i think it looks so gorgeous so vintage love the muted colors i absolutely love trove prints thank you so much to trove prints for sending over this beautiful print and i've also brought another frame down to pop the other roses print in so let me go and do that as well 
Here's the rose one in the new print and there's a laundry one I showed before. Don't they look just so stunning? I think I'm going to pop this one up on the peg shelf. We'll see. I don't know if it'll be too big, but we'll see. I'll prop you up somewhere. In the kitchen, Jake's actually tidied the whole kitchen, bless him, whilst I've been shopping. That is a sign of a good fiance, isn't it? But yeah, let me prop you up somewhere and then we'll see how it looks on the peg shelf. We're going at the best angle, but we'll see. So... I don't know. I don't know if it's too much. I don't know if it's too big for like right in the middle. I might move it to like the side maybe. I might have a faff around with it and see. I really do love it. It's so gorgeous. I don't know if I've got it upside down. Let me check the website. Okay, I've just had a bit of a rearrange. I've moved it to the side and I feel like it looks better. I feel like I felt like when it was in the middle it was just like too structured does that make sense so i've moved it to the side and placed a few things in front of it and yeah i love how it looks i think it's super pretty i think it complements all the brown tones that i've got on here really nicely and adds a little bit of height a little bit of color and yeah just super super pretty so i thought that would just show you some <laughs> reality this is the setup that we've got for little piglet until are you sneezing oh dear look at that look look at that flop Look at those legs. <laughs> this is the setup that we've got for Piglet until he's ready to be bonded with Bonnie and go into the bunny room. So yeah, not ideal. He keeps like digging the blanket back and like di then digging at the carpet. That's why I've got those boxes there. So hopefully not for too much longer because <laughs> you know it isn't ideal, but he's just so cute. Hi baby. Hello. Are you posing? You're a cutie little boy, aren't you? I thought that would just bring up one of his plates, put some treats on it or some pellets, and then maybe take some pictures of him with his new basket. Are you so cute? Look at your new basket. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Are they nice, baby? Yum, yum. You like pea flakes, don't you? He looks so cute eating from that plate. I'm just like taking some pictures for our bunny Instagram. You are so cute, Piglet. Aren't you? So it's the next day now, guys, and my dad is just about to come over to change the door over. So we're going to have this lovely one on here. And I'm just a bit worried that I've done the measurements wrong and that it won't fit. But I'm sure my dad will be able to sort out whatever problems may occur. So we've taken the door off, excuse the state of the bunny room, that's just my reality. And Dad is just taking all the handles and the locks off to pop onto our new door. The door is on guys! I love it so much, obviously it's not painted, it like is a totally different colour to the colour that we want it to be. But Jake's going to paint it this week and we've still got, excuse all that mess, I'm really sorry, we've still got like the plastic over the window like over the glass because there's no point taking that off yet until it's painted but I just think it makes such a difference it doesn't look like a like a typical new build door you know like that one is it just looks so much prettier let me get a different angle and trying to like hide the mess but yeah I just I love it I think it looks so good I'm so happy dad was able to do it shout out to dad you're the best hey guys so we have little bunny in the living room <laughs> that's because jake is painting the new door i can't remember if i showed it in the normal cream color when it was first up or not but excuse the sound of my voice by the way i'm really under the weather at the minute but this white is like the undercoat but it already looks so much better like it matches the other doors and stuff and then jake just went out to being cute to get some glass I don't really like glass, like I wouldn't have glass if I had the choice, but it's to match the other doors, isn't it? I'm spend 30 quid on it. <laughs> because our doors, like when we first moved well, when we first moved into this house, they were all glass, so we just thought we'd get glass to match, even though I'm not really the biggest fan of glass, but never mind, you can't really tell. So yeah, exciting little door update. Jake sacrificing Love Island. 
So I think I'll end the video there everyone. We're going out in an hour. We're going to Miller and Carter with some friends and Jake is asking his friend to be his best man tonight which will be exciting. So we're looking forward to that and I need to get ready because I can't go looking like this. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you enjoyed coming along to the shops with me today and seeing what little bits I picked up. And if you did like this video, I would love if you could like and comment down below and subscribe for more videos if you aren't subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next Sunday with a new video. Bye.